Good morning, dear students. Today, I'm going to talk about Unit 4, entitled Medicine, covering weeks 6 and 7. The first item here is vocabulary and terms. As you see on the pages you have, pages 39, 40, and 41. And we have number 5B, 4A, and 6. The first term we have is medical breakthroughs meaning medical great advances diagnose a disease means determine define detect a disease investigate means examine a specialty means specialization or major brilliant has the meaning of smart and intelligent analysis means examination the plural is analysis. Endemic is a widespread disease or virus among certain people or in a certain area. We have the verb contract. And contract here is a verb to contract a disease. This is a collocation or an idiom, which means you get or catch a serious disease or illness. Then, a disease in part of your body caused by bacteria or virus means infection or contagion. A plant or animal that lives on or in another plant or animal and gets food from it is parasite. Then, something that shows you have an illness is symptom. A symptom of illness in which you have a very high body temperature is fever. A substance used to protect people against a disease which contains a weak form of the virus that causes the disease is vaccine. Then we move to other terms and idioms like the term transplant. Transplant means zara'ado. It's an operation in which an organ or tissue is transferred from one person into another. The word is figured means distorted the word injuries means wounds the collocation making good recovery means getting well we have the idiom in the long term or in the long run or in the short term or in the short run or in the medium term or in the medium run or short run this means and we are translated as in not on as a common mistake Resemble means look like, critical means sarcastic, debate means argument or discussion, ethical means moral. That's it for this part. We have to move to another item entitled vocabulary dependent prepositions. First, we have to define dependent prepositions. Dependent prepositions are verbs and prepositions matching together. Like we have some verbs which match with some prepositions. Here are some examples like succeed in, fail to, adjust to, adapt to, participate in, or partake in, or take part in. Approve of, consent to, relate to, that's all for the vocabulary section. And now we come to the grammar of Unit 4 entitled Future Tenses. We have many forms of future tenses. The first form is going to. We use going to talk about intentions. For example, I'm going to get a new computer. It means that I plan and this is my intention to get a new computer. Again, we use going to talk about predictions based on evidence. That is to say, you expect something, but you have to provide the proof. Like, for example, the sky is full of clouds. Here we have the evidence or the proof that we have clouds on the sky, so it's going to rain. So, the evidence here is the clouds and 
the prediction you have to predict that it's going to rain here you are sure about 90 percent that it's going to rain that's for the first form of the future tense which is going to on the other hand we have will plus the infinitive we use will plus the infinitive talk about predictions not based on evidence here is the opposite we have predictions but these predictions are not based on evidence it depends on guessing it depends on foretelling and so on like for example they will lose the next elections we say they will lose the next elections i am not sure if they lose it or not but probably they will lose the next elections without any evidence or proof again we use will plus the infinitive talk about quick decisions offers promises and threats one example of these cases is i will leave now means i have the quick decision that i will leave now i don't say i'm going to leave now that's uh, another example we have i'll offer something so i will help you i offer to help you i promise i give you the money i will give you the money if you will not study you will fail because you are not following my orders or instructions so we have the threats your father will say if you don't study i will not give you any cadeau or offers or present or something like that again we use will plus the infinitive with adverbs of certainty which is very strange we use will plus the infinitive with adverbs of certainty like the word probably probably like possibly like definitely like certainly which is very strange we use these adverbs with will although we are not sure we use the adverbs of certainty like when i say the prices of basic commodities will definitely go up here i am not sure of it but as we have the adverb definitely or certainly we say the prices of basic goods or commodities will definitely rise or go up that's all for will plus the infinitive now we come to the present continuous for the future we use the present continuous for the future for fixed arrangements for example i'm leaving for london next vacation i have determined to leave for london next vacation so what is the arrangement that i have made i have already got the visa and the tickets as i have already got the visa and the tickets so i am leaving for london next vacation this is called pre-arrangement or fixed arrangement another future tense here is called the future perfect future means future and perfect is completed so we say we use the future perfect to talk or to refer to an action you expect to be completed by a time in the future like for example the form is we have the form of this tense is will or won't plus have plus the past participle of the verb or the main verb of course for example we say by 2021 you will have graduated this means that you expect that you will graduate in 2021 or 2021 but when i say by 2021 you must use this future perfect you will have graduated يعني مع مجيء سنة 2021 هتكون قد تخرجت again we have the word by this time next year i will have finished my exam by this time next year i will have finished my exams bear in mind that we usually use a time expression with a future perfect tense such as soon by then by date the example we have here is don't worry we'll have finished the project by then don't worry we'll have finished the project by then we have the time expression by then like by 2021 like by this time next year by then so long as you have by by 
and future time expression you must use future perfect tense i will have finished the the project you have to bear in mind that there is a very important note a very important point here that you have to differentiate between by and time expression in the future and by and by followed by time expression in the past so i say by 2021 or by 2021 or 2021 you will have finished the project but when i say by the year 2011 i must use here the past perfect tense by 2011 the revolution had broken the january revolution had broken out so after by and the past tense we use past perfect by 2011 the january revolution had broken out at that time so used by must be followed by past perfect like for example if i say by 1982 i had graduated from my college by 1995 i had got my phd so this is a very important point or note that you have to differentiate between the future perfect tense and the past perfect tense you must look at the time expression if it's in the future we say by 2021 use the future perfect tense but if it's followed by past action by 1995 i had obtained my phd i had obtained my phd so it must be followed by uh, past perfect tense that's all uh, for today i hope i have covered all the details of unit 4 i hope that you had understood the lectures i will be available at any time to receive your questions Best of luck with my regards, Dr. Mahmoud Abbas Mohammed, a professor of linguistics and literature, Faculty of Al-Alson and Shams University. Thank you all.